The Satrantika were an early Buddhist school generally believed to be descended from the Stavira Nikaya by way of their immediate parent school, the Sarvastivadins. While they are identified as a unique doctrinal tendency, they were part of the Sarvastivada Vinaya lineage of monastic ordination, their name means literally, those who rely upon the sutras, which indicated, as stated by the commentator Yasomitra, that they hold the sutras, but not the Abhidharma commentaries sastras, as authoritative. The views of this group first appear in the Abhidharmaka Sabhasya of Vasubandhu. Name The name Satrantika indicates that unlike other North Indian Staviras, this school held the Buddhist sutras as central to their views, over and above the ideas presented in the Abhidharma literature. The Sarvastivada scholar Samgabhadra, in his Nyayanusara, attacks a school of thought named Satrantika which he associates with the scholars Srilata and his student Vasubandhu. According to Samgabhadra, a central tenet of this school was that all sutra is explicit meaning natartha, hence their name. The Sarvastivadins sometimes referred to them as the Darstantika school, meaning, those who utilize the method of examples. This latter name may have been a pejorative label. It is also possible that the name Darstantika identifies a predecessor tradition, or another related, but distinct, doctrinal position. The exact relationship between the two terms is unclear. Charles Willimen identifies the Satrantika as a western branch of the Sarvastivadins, active in the Gandhara area, who split from the Sarvastivadins sometime before 200 CE, when the Satrantika name emerged. Other scholars are less confident of a specific identification for the Satrantika. Nobayoshi Yamabe calls specifying the precise identity of the Satrantika one of the biggest problems in current Buddhist scholarship. Topic: History The founding of the Satantrika school is attributed to the elder Kumaralata c. 1st century, author of a collection of Dhyarstanta named Kalpanamanditika. The Satantrikas were sometimes also called disciples of Kumaralata. According to Chinese sources, Harivarman was a student of Kumaralata who became disillusioned with Buddhist Abhidharma and then wrote the Tattvaziti Sastra in order to "...eliminate confusion and abandon the later developments, with the hope of returning to the origin." The Tattvaziti was translated into Chinese and became an important text in Chinese Buddhism until the Tang dynasty. Other works by Satrantika affiliated authors include the Abhidharmamurtara Sasastra attributed to Gosaka, and the Abhidharmavatara Sastra attributed to Skandila. The elder Srilata, who was Vasubandhu's teacher is also known as a famous Satrantika who wrote the Satrantika Vibhasa. Gosaka's Abhidharmavatara and Harivarman's Tattvaziti have both been translated into English. The Buddhist philosopher Vasubandhu wrote the famous Abhidharma work Abhidharmaka Sakarika, which presented Sarvastivada Vebasika Abhidharma tenets. He also wrote a Bhasya or commentary on this work, which presented critiques of the Vebasika tradition from a Satrantika perspective. 
The Abhidharmakosa was highly influential and is the main text on Abhidharma used in Tibetan and Chinese Buddhism up until today. The school of Buddhist logic of Dignaga and Dharmakirti are also associated with the Satrantika view. Doctrine. No separate Vinaya monastic code specific to the Satrantika has been found, nor is the existence of any such separate disciplinary code evidenced in other texts. This indicates that they were likely only a doctrinal division within the Sarvastivadin school. The Satrantika criticized the Sarvastivadins on various matters such as ontology, philosophy of mind, and perception. While the Sarvastivadin Abhidharma described a complex system in which past, present, and future phenomena are all held to have some form of their own existence, the Satrantika subscribed to a doctrine of extreme momentariness that held that only the present moment existed. They seem to have regarded the Sarvastivadin position as a violation of the basic Buddhist principle of impermanence. As explained by Jan Westerhoff, this doctrine of momentariness holds that each present moment does not possess any temporal thickness, immediately after coming into existence each moment passes out of existence, and that therefore all dharmas, whether mental or material, only last for an instant and cease immediately after arising." The Sarvastivadin Abhidharma also broke down human experience in terms of a variety of underlying phenomena, a view similar to that held by the modern Theravadin Abhidhamma. The Satrantika believed that experience could not be differentiated in this manner. Satrantika doctrines expounded by Elder Srilata and critiqued in turn by Samgabhadra's Nyayanusara include. The theory of anudatu or asterisk pervanudatu, subsidiary element, which is also associated with the theory of seeds bija espoused by Vasubandhu. This theory was used to explain karma and rebirth, the doctrine that katasikas mental factors are but modes of sata mind and are not separate elemental dharmas which come together in association sampriyoga as the vebasika believed this view is also espoused at length in Harivarman's Tattvaziddhi, the doctrine that the sense elements datu alone are real existence, not the aggregates skanda or sense spheres ayatana, a process of direct perception pratyaksha, which differed from the direct realism of the Vebasika, and instead posited a form of indirect representationalism. According to Vasubandhu, the Satrantika also held the view that there may be many Buddhas simultaneously, otherwise known as the doctrine of contemporaneous Buddhas. <laughs> <laughs> 